Uh, so let's talk about the count special quadruplet. So what you're you know, doing is giving an integer array, you want to satisfy this constraint. Numbs A plus numbs B plus numbs C equal to numbs D. And A less than B less than C less than D for index. So what you can do is you can traverse you know the array using four pointers. So what I'm doing. So it's gonna be I, J, K, L. So basically you can traverse all the way like this and then this will be the brutal force uh, brutal force solution. So uh yeah it's not hard but think about this. The time and space will be what? The time will be n four, right? N to the fourth. So this will be the, the worst solution you ever have. But let's think about the optimal solution. So what does this also represent? This will be what num a plus nums b this will be equal to nums d minus nums c right so if we can actually split this equation into two for loop so one so this will be i pointer j pointer and this i pointer can also use in for what right here right so if you can use in this you know a trick basically it will save a lot of time and space but um what you can do is what you want to split from what from n minus two, n minus two all the way to um, i equal to one because uh, this will actually represent what now uh, a plus b is actually from what from zero to n minus two, and this thing is from what two all the way to n I believe yeah. So these are two constraints. You want to make sure the index doesn't intersect with, with each other so all right so let's look at the the brutal force solution so what you need is the result and then basically traverse numbs are length and then this will be i minus three right you need to keep another three space for the other three pointer minus two in k to the j plus one k less than alpha less minus one k plus plus for in l equal to numpsa uh, sorry k plus one k plus one l less than numpsa lens and then l plus plus so if the constraint numps a sorry just copy and paste Alright, this will be nums i, nums a, nums k, equal to l, nums l. Then what you need to do is implement a counter. Yeah. Oh. Alright, time is space, space is constant, time is n to the fourth. Alright, so this will be the worst worst solution. So let's talk about the efficient solutions. So resort, return result. And what you need to do is from i equal to length of length minus two all the way to one and I decrement you know by one by one each iteration. For J, so this will be represent the right side. So it's going to be what I plus one, all the way to the end, and then J plus plus. So one thing you need to store is into the hash map, integer integer map equal to new hash map. So whatever you see over here, which satisfy this value, nums. Uh, sorry, nums j minus nums i. So this represents what d minus c, right? So you want to put into the map, and the map you have the same frequency. So you want to increment the default frequency in the map. So this will be represent right side. The left side is going to be starting from zero all the way to i minus one. And then J plus plus. 
So why do, why do we need to say i minus one? Like it traverses until i equal to one. So think about this. Like how do you get get the value right? So num equal to what? Nums i plus nums j. So it's going to represent a plus b, right? So result plus equal based on the map map value get or default based on the nums the num we have or we can actually add zero that they don't find it because the left side and the right side has to be the same. Um, I think I made a little bit of mistake. Give me one sec. Yes, I do. So this will be this will be i minus one. So um yeah so this will be represent a plus b nums a plus nums b something all right so time and space this space all of n time n square y all of n and all of n so there will be n square and this is all of n as well so it's a little bit better. So let's talk about how I did it. So do we have better for loop? All right. Anyway, so I'm gonna say three, four, two, five, seven, eight. Maybe this is one, four, something like this. So I'm going to split from what? Uh, I minus I go to the numbers of length minus two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight minus two, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So starting from, um, so I was starting from what? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Starting from here. All right. So everything from here all the way to here. This will be, this will be represent I, right? So should be here. So this will represent I, right? And zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this will be represent i, and then everything on the j pointer, j equal to i plus one, j. So it's going to be i plus sorry, sorry, j minus i represent what well, numbers of d minus c, and this one represent j equal to zero, right? So j plus i, this represent what well, uh, numbers a plus numbers b. So what do we need a minus one is because we don't want to use in the same value, right? So this represent nums i, this has to represent nums i minus one. So I mean if there is a better pointer, I mean example, so I'm gonna create a random spot. Something like this, I don't know. Let me use a debugger. All right, so let's look at this. So, no, there's no value. Actually, you can pause the video at any second if you are confused. So if you just keep looking at I pointer, then you'll be able to see what happened. So you will just keep decrement, right? So probably just need to use this. Yeah, so this will be the solution. So um, I mean, it's straightforward enough, but just be, a, be careful of the pointer. And if you have questions, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.